Well, hello there, Cancer. Welcome. This is going to be your mid-April 2022 love reading. So what is happening for you? Let's see. Starting out with... Ah, you know, everybody's getting this. People are really connected on a telepathic level. So this is, you share this and you cannot ignore it. Your words are slowly leaving imprints upon their heart because of this connection you have. Very intense connection. See that? It's pretty intense. Okay. Now, crossing you, we have divinely guided. You have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. Okay, nice. And then we have exhausted. There's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust their, the situation. Okay, they got to take care of things. Let's see, divine blueprint. They're going within to find their higher purpose and discover the meaning of life and this connection. Now, this is the recent past. This is the general energy here. That they're exhausted, so maybe that's what they're going to take some time. But the recent plant past there... Um, they're trying to find themselves, trying to figure this out. They're trying to find their higher purpose. So, they're, and I think it's all triggered by this connection too, because like, what is this? Before they just went along the merry way, and now it's like, well, they meet you, and it's like, what? <laughs> so now they're, you made them soul searches. That's very good. And now, crowning this, we have marriage. They see you as marriage material, someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. So they want to get married. That's why they're trying to figure things out. How are they going to do this? Coming in the near future, we have uproot. And they are leaving all that is familiar to them as, or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. Look at that card. They're leaving everything. They're picking up the house and everything. <laughs> As long as they don't have people in it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Insatiable. They have an insatiable thirst. A thirst that no one else but you can satisfy. Craving for you more and more. Oh boy. And then we have breaking free. They are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you. Now this is weird because this is your energy. That there's, because of you, Yeah, it, you're changing their whole life here. So they're breaking free because of you. Wow. And we have the fight. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. Wow, you really changed this person's life. Ever since they met you, it's like totally different. And then at last, they don't want you to give up now when you come this far because it will all be worth it in the end. Now, this is the possible outcome. They want you to hang in there. And then resurrection, what you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. They want to bring this relationship back. So this is it's definitely they're working really hard on this. This person is really hard at work. Unexpected. The answers you seek are coming. But when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you have moved on. And that's what this person is worried about. That you're going to move on. You're not going to wait because they're not ready yet. And they don't want to come to you until they're ready. But by that time, someone else might be in your life. Boundaries. They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walked away from those who don't respect them, including them. You know, they're, they're just inspired by you. This person almost feels like their energy, they could get almost anybody they want. But you're a challenge because they, they can't do that with you. And you also have this very deep connection here. You feel each other. Even if you're not this dimension, you feel each other in fifth dimension. Okay, let's clarify this. Lovers, twin flame. See, that's why you are connected like that. This is a twin flame connection. This is very deep love. This is the lovers. Gemini energy. Okay, and then this one is the divinely guided. Let's see. Why do we have divinely guided here for Cancer? Ooh, death, death and transition. See, this is Scorpio energy. This is something ending for new beginning. And that's what this person is ending things in their life to start over with you. They're hoping that you'll wait for them because they're going through a major transformation, a transition here. And they want to bring this connection back. They want to bring it back. They're divinely guided for what they're doing here. If it's meant to be, it'll be. If it's not, then it's not. Exhausted. So let's see why we have the exhausted card here for them. And we have Ace of Swords, Breakthrough and Awareness. Okay. Even though they're exhausted, they are making 
head wave here. There's things working out. They're cutting things out that don't belong. They really want to start new with you. They're going to come to you with their truth. And this divine blueprint, let's see. Wow, Ace of Pentacles, so another Ace. This is a wise investment. They see you as a wise investment. They, they see there's a lot of potential here. They're working really hard on this. They might be working on their finances too or starting a new business or doing do whatever it takes to make sure that they can be happy with you or make you happy. What about this marriage card? And we have Page of Wands, excitement and curiosity. They're going to come to you with uh, some kind of um, message here. And they're very excited about it. And I don't know if they'll propose right off the bat. That's crazy, but they might. I don't, I, all depends on what your circumstances. Of course, these are general readings, not personal. So it's going to be different for everyone. But this is um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So you can expect some kind of form of communication coming. And this uprooting, why is it uprooting here? Ten of Cups, contentment and joy. See, you make them happy. You are their Ten of Cups. They're, they're leaving whatever they have here to come to you. They're moving. They could be moving where they live. And it's insatiable. Well, let's see what's going on with that one. Hermit, soul searching. They're, you know, you put them really deep within. They're trying to figure things out. They're going deep. They're trying to heal their they're trying to heal their inner child. They're trying to heal their life so that when they come to you, they come correctly. So they're doing a lot of soul search. Just Virgo energy. Okay, break and free. Why do we have that here? Old wounds. They're breaking free of these old wounds. They're, they're, that's all that inner child. That's going right together with this hermit card. And um, yeah, this is their self-imposed prison. So they're trying to heal this. That's why they're they're doing their hermit thing. They're just trying to work on themselves so they can come towards you. I feel like a lot of signs are doing that right now. Okay, the fight. Let's see. They want to fight for this connection. So let's see what else we get on that. Queen of Swords, sharp and assertive. See, they know when they come to you, that's how you're going to be. So they better come correctly. But they're willing to fight. I mean, even they have to argue with you to get you to see their point, their point of view, to get you to understand that they do, really do care. They're going to fight with you. <laughs> at last. Why is that at last card here? Magician manifesting. Yeah, they're trying to, they're doing it. They have all the tools they need. When the magician comes up, this is Aries, Aquarius. They have everything they need. Oh, and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And that's what this is saying, that this person is really working hard. They're figuring out how to manifest. Um, what about the resurrection? What, why do we have the resurrection here? And we have four cuffs, missed opportunity. See, they had an opportunity to bring this back around to come towards you and they they didn't do it they missed this opportunity so now they're going to try again they're going to make another attempt but they're going to make sure they're more prepared and this last card we have unexpected so let's see what we get for the unexpected we have six of pentacles equality yeah they want to have things balance out it's going to be even if the, you were always the one who given they always always the one taken they want to even that out so it's not like that anymore they're going to give to this connection and you're not going to expect it whatever because this comes up with the unexpected card here unexpected the answers you seek are coming but when the answers arrive it might be too late or you have moved on they're hoping not but they're still going to try bottom of the deck we have nine of pentacles independence they know that you are independent you don't need them and that worries them okay let's see now we'll do with the word let's start with who do we have if i don't have any um court cards i i'm not doing oh we have the page of wands okay let's see what's the word on this page of wands spying finances will you contact okay they're spying on you there's something to do with finances they want to make contact with you and then they're going to ask you the question and look at marriage so it will be will you marry them but i think they're getting their finances in, in order here and they're also watching and seeing what you're up to to see if you're connected with anybody if you're involved okay now let's see where do we have do we have queen of swords okay what's the scoop on this queen of swords what's the scoop on this queen of swords we have message 
new start money okay so may this person either you're getting a mess message and there's money coming towards you there's a new start or they want to send you a message and something money finances come here money comes here please let me know if that resonates with you it doesn't seem to fit with the rest of the cards but you know it probably does in certain people's circumstances because of course this is a general reading so it's not going to make sense to everybody but if it does let me know if you care to share okay let's see let's see what signs are we dealing with for cancer here what are the signs what are the signs for cancer we have let me just put this over we have libra gemini scorpio aries virgo and pisces okay so these could be placements in your chart placements in your person charts placement on other people's chart it could be with past people present people or future people they don't even know yet so we have libra gemini scorpio aries virgo and pisces let's see what letters we have this could be for initials first name middle names or last names so we have i if i stop moving everything i d i Y, J, J, it might be a JJ, B, V, L, K, last one. Oh, okay, there's your 11 letters we have i d i y j j b v l k o now for the names 11 names please let's get 11 names out okay may have enough then okay i think uh, we have elvira judy Pamela, Nelly, Aneta, Philon, P H E L A N, Kathy with a K, Cindy, C I N D I E. We have Bahida, B A H I D A. We have Nicole, Cruz, C R U Z, and we have Kirstein, K I R S T E E N. We have 12, so one over. That's okay. All right, so remember, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Play what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, please let me know if anything resonates, and um, please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. I love you guys. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.